Welcome back to Anderton's TV and another blindfold challenge. Good morning. Good um, evening. Good morning, good yes. Afternoon. Uh, this is almost like a part two. Uh, part one of this style shootout, which mm. we'll put links below, was where all the guitars, apart from one wild card, were kind of like a thousand pound or below. This one is much more expensive than that. So I think we're anything from 1,500 to 6,000 pounds in this shootout. Oh no. Plus the winner from that uh, first round. So who, let's yeah. see how well that does again in this one. Um, Pete doesn't know what we've chosen. He knows the style of them, mm -hmm. uh, pots. but uh, I'm gonna pass them to him in this order. So starting this side, going to that side. Um, that's a totally random order in terms of pricing. Um, I'm going to mess it up again, aren't I? But it's not about me knowing what the guitars are. It's about no. the one I like the best. It is exactly that. It's that's, the, you know, you might like another one out there, yeah. you know, so... It's uh, so personal, so it's what it's Pete likes the yeah. best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Maybe we should blindfold you one time. Again. Uh, the <laughs> rules of this are I'm pretty comfortable with you uh, using the volume and tone controls. They are all basically in the same position. The the uh, pickup switch is all pretty much in the same position, so you can do that. The tuners, I think you can use the tuners. I would be surprised if we can get through this style of video without having to tune. Especially <laughs> um, the juice yeah. So you can use the tuners, but don't go feeling headstock shapes and stuff like that. Okay, Otherwise don't go changing. Probably, you know, and again, we've got a mix here, haven't we, of, of scratch plates and stuff. So again, don't go feeling for things like that if you can avoid it. No, I, I'll um, keep the, the feeling and the touching to a minimum. Thank you. Apart from uh, the neck. We have a Freeman Little Sister guitar amplifier. We have a tuner and a Halcyon Gold Clon copy by Origin. And that's it. That's, that's it. That's what we and, have. And Lee, mm. please like and subscribe. Because every 10,000 subscribers, we're going to give something away. And then we do a clon, a real one, when we hit a million. You know. Are you ready to start? There. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh. I tell you what, okay, let's like... not annotate on screen what these guitars are as we go along. So you can kind of participate as well with what your favorite was or is. Uh, and um, and then we'll reveal all at the end. So guitar number one, yeah. go. Just uh, initial feeling getting it on my lap. It's quite, it's quite heavy. I mean, I know that's an LP style thing, you know, when they go like that, but it's slightly heavy in the thing. Neck feels slim. Almost like a guitar I haven't played before. <laughs> what you Maybe I have for? played it before. Wow, okay. It's got this thing about the, I feel like the knot could be shaved down a bit. You know, like the accent is slightly high up here. You got, you got a thing about tall just, nuts at the moment. Just no, it's just there's just the tall nuts. I just feel like, I just feel like it. You know, it's such a. I think again, especially when you don't you can't see it, you feel it much more. Is that makes getting sense? the nut cut properly on a guitar? You know, and I'm talking like minuscule millimeters. Oh, it's millimeters. Is is yeah. makes such a difference. It's millimeters. It's my least favorite so far. <laughs> it's a weird sort of um, lacquered semi, but it's lacquered, but it feels soft in a way. And it almost feels like the neck is quite flat and it's slim and like kind of, maybe it could be like a 60s something. If, if it's an LP, I don't dare say anything with Gibson, it's gonna. Do you want some gain? Yes, please. Oh, that's 
interesting. I like it though, but I'm it, the neck doesn't feel like anyway. The neck doesn't feel like what? It just feels slightly uh, like you know. I'm not going to say the list, but it's not a Gibson, I don't think. But man, I could be so wrong. So it doesn't feel like a Gibson. Tell me, feel it. Tell me, it doesn't feel like it. Okay, are you finished with that guitar? Yeah, I like okay. it. Okay, tune it on. So this is currently first place, last place, and everywhere in the middle. Yeah. Let's see what happens yeah. when we introduce guitar number two. I've got a feeling. I think now I've just something just hit me in the head with that first one. <laughs> do you want to say what that is, or nothing to do with anything? See, look. I've got more ring going on here, and the neck, the knot is much better. So I, I've noise. It. Less output in this one. Really weird. I can almost hear the strings ring over the sound in the room. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This neck is more rounded. Nice fret job. Not as not as he, sort of b bottom end heavy. I mean, uh, weight wise, you mean? Yeah, it's lighter, and it doesn't feel like it's going to do that to me somehow. Again, these pickups have got a more clear, 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 more clear kind of a, almost like that PRF sort of telly, uh, sorry, like P90. Feels nice, sounds good. of like a fat strat. Yeah, it's my number one so far. Plays really nicely, set up nicely, lacquered neck. I mean... That'll do! That'll do, That'll do. Donkey. I shouldn't write down like we did in the other video, or I wrote down what I thought it was. I can't... I Honestly, oh, yeah. this one, I don't know what these two were. So, but... Bush. Oh God! Numero trois. He's uh. got that ring again. That. That feels nice. This. You want sound? Oh, this is great. This is good. I would really you, like this. Would you just spin slightly to your left? Sorry. Be a very kind man. This is really nice. Feel at home on this one. Uh, it's not a really fat neck. It's sort of mi middle in the thing. 
And see, this has got a, this has got this nitro, almost like a, do you know what I'm saying, sticky? Yeah. When they get sticky, the nitro sometimes. But look, listen to that. Nice sound, okay? Gain. Feels good. Whatever it is, it's great. So many harmonics and uh, just, just. Whether it's probably a PRS or something. I've written a book know. on this so far. Yeah, is um, it? That's just great. This is my number one. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Let me just tune it on. Tune it on. Let me just write this down. But it's funny because it, it's because it. It oh, does. we've got Dusty Bin ranking at the moment. For those of you who remember that, from two one. Uh, the, the older, the the neck just doesn't feel like a Gibson. It feels slightly different. But I, I, oh, that's big words. I should have written that down. So you, so you don't think this is a Gibson? I'm either. not sure. That's I'm not sure if it's a Gibson three. or not. It just feels. It, you know, when when I'm thinking of custom custom shop Gibson, they've normally got a fatter neck. Okay, right. A bit like this one. Uh, oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, hang on, I just need to write that bit down. So we don't think it's a Gibson because that because you didn't think the neck was fat enough. Is that right? There's something about the neck that, but if it is a Gibson, if it, then this might be a '60s or something. I don't know. Can you turn that off again? Just listen to yeah, the, yeah, listen of course, to the older. Yeah. It rings, but not as much as the other one. This is more like this third one. Well. It, so the, fir you the mean first, the first one. No, the first one is the lowest one. I know. So which one do you think you said this, this is, is more the like? This is the second. This is the second like the one second I tried. One. Yeah. I see what you mean. Okay. Also, it doesn't feel like a nitro neck. You know what? I think this is the PRS from last time. It plays up, plays really nicely, set up really nicely, but it's got. It doesn't have a American USA neck feel to it. I don't know, man. I'm probably <laughs> rambling around here. Okay. Here's some sound. It's also thing has got nines on. It. Lovely to play. on this as well I noticed it's a flat neck a very flat neck or maybe more than 12 or maybe 12 <laughs> can we go on game please oh more fist fist maybe the higher output or more affordable pick up That's very tight. I just, I'm just going to remind you as well, because I just want to throw some cats amongst the pigeons. You can also hear it. If that is the guitar you think it is, yeah. I just want to say that what you said about that in the first video was how, was how low powered the pickups were. So I'm just saying, All right. if you're now <laughs> saying how high powered they sound, maybe you're, maybe you're wrong, I'm just saying. Maybe it's one of those, uh, what's the brand that we stuck recently? What's it called? Uh, FTM. Because I haven't played one of those at all. But I played the other ones. I played the uh, you know the S type and the F C type, and those they felt really good. It could 
also appear here as. It does sound good though, doesn't it? Can I hit the 12th fret? Ah. Okay, right. right. Where are we putting that uh, one then? Second. Second. Yeah, yeah. Throw it straight in there. I really straight like Straight in. Let's go bananas. Uh, we've got two P more guitars. A -N -A -N -A -S. To go. Oh, shh. Let's Which thing is your favourite colour so far? Uh, the third one. <laughs> Absolutely. That was just. I think actually you might even be right there. Um, oh, here's a, here's a slightly rounder neck on this one. Oh, I'll what? leave you. I'll leave you this volume off for See, a minute. See, this is much more muted in the ring. Which leads me to believe there's a different kind of knot on it. Uh, sorry, rounder neck. I, I'm catching up here. Rounder neck, more muted ring. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, we, we can look at that, but like nylon versus plastic versus bone nuts all kind of contribute yeah. to that ringiness. That, that nylon knot that Gibson uses on their uh, costume shop, because they use nylon, right? Right. There's something about that compared to bone that has got like this singy ringiness that I enjoy, but I could be completely wrong, and this could be a custom shop, but I don't think it is. Feels nice. Set up nicely. Nice intonation. Okay, let's have some sound. See, more loose switch. It's more expensive without looser the switch. I like the sound of this. That's a good sound. That's a good sound, very articulate. Ah, flip. Good intonation. Good yeah, intonation. absolutely. Mm. 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 Good intonation. What are you going to say with that? <laughs> Is it the pure rest? <laughs> <laughs> From the last one. Can I have some cane, please? Good guitar as well, plays nicely, sounds good. I mean, it's either number two, this is actually number two, move the, th the other one down. It's got a slight, slight, in it there. Okay. Where are we putting this one then in the Se uh, second? Second. Yeah. So the second, second goes down yeah. to third. I've got. I mean, I yes, I, that's what normally happens. Yeah. Um, so let's just. Although recap it doesn't ring as much, but it's really nice. It's a really nice. I mean, this could could be a heritage, maybe. I don't know. Because it feels it's got the sticky neck again, but it could be sticky in the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> You're not going to good sticky and bad sticky. Lee, there's only one more guitar left to go now, Mr. Okay. Pete. We're nearly there. Your humiliation is almost complete. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going to humiliate myself many more times today, I hope. That's what life's all about. Oh, this is a flat neck. Uh. This is, this, is this the same one as the first one? Uh, well, no, it's not, but you know, interesting observation. Because this is a very, this is, this neck again is very much slimmer. This is very much like the first one. It's almost not like, I don't know if I've played a, certainly a costume shop with this slim neck. 
It's also a bit sticky. It's really interesting. It rings Listen, nicely. Listening to guitars before they're actually plugged in is a, is a really, I think it's, it's, it's a valuable thing to do. You know, if it sounds loud and ringy, really yeah. not plugged in, you are, it's gonna. It, it's not always, it's not always, like the one before this wasn't this, it wasn't this ringy. But when you then plugged in and heard it, then it had a really good sound. And that seems to remind me when we did, we did a video on, uh, you know, is the Les Paul's the king or whatever it was. You know, we had a PRS, mm. we had a, mm. a Heritage, and then we had, and I remember the Heritage didn't have that ringiness like this does. It was more, a little bit more muffled maybe. And I thought that was because of the, you know, the nut and maybe also the saddle. Do you want some sound? Yes, please. It's the tone control all the way up on this one. Wow. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think I know where this is. Is this the PRS? <laughs> So difficult. Well, it's, at least it's the last guitar. <laughs> so they're, they're older PRS, right? as well I really like this uh, have a gain, gain please yeah, yeah. testing for here. I do know what you're testing for. Maybe a little bit. It's good sound. Well, I really, really like this. Second, damn it. I don't know what it is, but. It does feel okay. familiar somehow. It's so easy to play though. So I'm just so gonna recap. To Let me just put this back on the, the stand wow. for you. Yeah, that was really um, nice, easy to play. I, I do think, uh -huh. I do think these blindfold challenges, whether they're pedals or guitars, are always slightly skewed in favor of the products that are at the end of the blindfold test than necessarily at the yes. beginning. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think we should take that into account. But the final um, order, and we'll put this on screen now, okay, uh, goes this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then this one. Okay, so Pete, do you want to unblindfold and we'll just talk through what you thought? So, the first guitar that you tried was the Gibson Les Paul Standard. Okay. So this is a 60s uh, neck profile Les Paul Standard. Yeah. Interesting that you said you thought the studio at the end, which was the last you tried, felt so similar because it's essentially it's the, the same whole neck, point of the studio yeah. is to be the standard without all the bells super and whistles. Similar. So you super said it was similar. quite heavy, had a slim neck. Uh, it's like a guitar I haven't played before, which is ironic. She played because. that loads before. <laughs> um, 
I feel the nut could be lower. Um, it has a sort of a soft lacquer, I guess you're meaning like a, a nitro kind of feeling, like a quite a flat fretboard. And you, uh, you said, and it doesn't feel like a Gibson. It couldn't be any more Gibson <laughs> if it tried. What is this thing? Um, you know what I think this is? I'm not trying to backpedal anything with this stuff, but I think because I play more of the more expensive cost shop yeah. Gibsons, I don't really know how the normal standard range feels. Yeah. Well, I think, I'm not trying to, it's not an excuse for me, but I don't play them very often. So that was last place, all right? Uh, I mean, okay, let's caveat this. Was there a bad guitar in amongst them? Not at all. Right, so. Not at all, they were all no, great there's guitars. There's no bad guitar, there's just which one was Pete's yeah. favorite. Uh, the second to last position, so the, the guitar that I guess came in fifth was, oh, was a guitar that? that I don't think you've played before. Yeah, can I see that? Which is the FGN. Right. Uh, we, may, I, may I touch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So FGN is, is the oh. Fujigen factory in Japan. It's a very famous factory, has made guitars for Fender see? and many other brands. And this is their house brand. Uh, this a, the, we've never a, featured any of the single cut um, this style of guitar no. or the semi hollow guitars and we uh, so we probably will dive on have a, a separate look at those but Tell you what, that's this is their sort guitar. of the top of the range again put the model number on screen now the top of the range one that they do I think mm -hmm. uh, you said about this it was more ringy the nut is better cut yes it's but it had less output although the string the strings ra rang loud you put the neck is more rounded it's yeah. not as heavy the pickups are clearer Feels nice, sounds good. You said, I hear a fat strat. That's what you said about that. Yeah, listen. Okay, so the guitar that came next in the order of what won, rather than the order of what you played, was actually, I think, yeah, was the okay. uh, PRS Makati 594, which was the, that's the SE model. So that was the winner from our I first see. round, and you said about that. I said a completely different thing this time. You it? said uh, <laughs> uh, rings, but not as much. Uh, it's more like the second one, so more like the FGM one. Well, that makes uh, sense. It doesn't feel nitro, which it isn't nitro, so good observation. You said, I think this is the PRS from the last time. Doesn't feel like it's USA made. It's lovely to play. Feels like it's nines, but I 100% know it's tens because I restrung this before the first right. video. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't this know is very slinky somehow. But it, uh, you, you, know, said again, a, you said it's got a flat neck, but maybe more fizz. This was the one where I purposely threw the hand grenade in to say, because you were saying feels like they're high output pickups, but when you did this in the first I said round, they were low output. You yeah. said they were low output pickups. God. Anyway, whatever. But right. it could be a different order, I feel. Uh, next, uh, in the, so the guitar that came third was the Heritage H150. Okay. That's a custom shop H150. Yeah. Um, always worth a look at Heritage Custom Shop because their custom shop stuff isn't that much dearer than Gibson's standard yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it's quite a lot less than Gibson's custom shop. And I, shop. I, in my opinion, um, I prefer that. I mean, I dare so I, so I would go anyway, for Anyway, you, you've gone, had a rounder neck, had a more muted ring. This is where you were talking about. The knot. Yeah, see, and you, were say, you even you were... said you thought it might be Heritage because the last time you played them, they had a sort of a muted ring, whatever that is. Great band name. Uh, feels ring. nice, set up nicely. Nice intonation. It did have good intonation. You went, uh, I like the sound. It's very articulate. Is this the PRS? And then you said this. <laughs> well, this that was a bit really of a joke. Guitar. But that, so this was number two at some point, wasn't it? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The studio on the end is the guitar you said uh, came second. Um, and you went, uh, is this the same as the first one? Which I thought was an interesting observation. Said it had a slim neck, a good ring. Uh, then you asked, is the tone all the way up? Because it was a bit darker sounding, yeah. which, and it was all the way up. And then you went, is this the PRS? Uh, <laughs> and then, it was and then you said, I like it, and it, but it's got a little bit scratchy frets. Well, that makes but it, but a you bit get, sense. But you put it second place, which is yeah. it. I said, that's why I kind of I mean, feel sometimes the last one. Anyway, look, yeah. the standout winner. And I think the minute you started playing this, um, you... I felt, did I say I felt at home on that one? Yeah, you, yeah. you really liked it. So the, the winner, which is reassuring, uh, is the most expensive one here. So the winner is the Gibson Custom Shop 59. Oh, it's a 59, that's why uh, it's next Yeah, thing. I purposely got everything here should have more of a 59 mm -hmm. style neck. So you went, uh, it's got that ring, it feels nice. You went, this is great, this is good, I really like this. You then said, I really like this about four times. Then you said, I feel at home, neck's not too fat, it's oh. got a nitro feel, sounds nice. And then you went, listen to that, I hear it immediately. 
so many harmonics, and then, and then you went, I don't <laughs> think it's a Gibson. <laughs> Amazing. Well, look. I actually thought this might be the heritage that's there in the beginning. Um, I, I yeah, have to say, a, I mean, uh, th this this is it not surprising to me because, yeah. you know, as I said, I play more this than I play that. Yeah. So I should play that some more. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful guitar. It's, it's a it's, great guitar. It's funny. Man. I think we've the Gibson Custom Shop. Can we just do this? The Gibson Custom Shop is is yeah. a is a. Is a difficult one, and I know obviously everyone will go, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? You're trying to sell them and all that kind of stuff. But it's, it is the one custom shop where I actually go, you know what, you, this is another level to yeah. standard Gibson stuff. I mean, I think a lot of, yeah, it's, I get it. You know, a lot, a lot, I think Fender do a brilliant job of the kind of the, the production stuff. And then when you yeah. move into custom shop, if you want to go down the relic route and all that kind of stuff, it's kind of cool. Yeah. But actually, I think the standard stuff that Fender do is so good. It's yeah, sometimes, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't need I, it. But... I do. I don't know what it is about Gibson custom shop. It's like I don't know anybody that doesn't just go like, wow, yeah, this yeah. is another level. Yeah. Anyway. What did you think? Were you with Pete with regards to which one uh, you like the best? I mean, again, I think next time it's only Pete's favorite. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's not I, about I you think, know, best you know, or worst. I think next time what we should do is before you reveal it, mm. you reveal it to the people. Mm. Then I take my blindfold off. Then I play them again. Well, and then I, we see I, I which one I like the best. Yeah, I mean, next time I do it, maybe I'll mix up the. It's always so confusing if I start mixing up the order I give them to you. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, and I did actually, in fairness, when you said. Um, I should have you're written right, down the brand. It was fun in that first video yeah. to write down. And you the should, brand. I should have, you know, as you say, or have another go on them, another mm. round. Because we did, I do I, these two. We did that with Chappers once, yeah. and, and again, the minute he could see, he completely changed his perception about which one his favourite was. Yeah. Again, it's a really interesting yeah, it's, it's kind really, of like you know way yeah. that your brain. I'm surprised works. about that. I must admit. I think the studio is amazing. But it's that's, a great value for me. That's the good point. Uh, well, point. apart from the obviously the this wild card. Yeah. That's the most affordable guitar of this range. And the studio, honestly, the studio, yeah. if you want all the essence of a great Les Paul without all the bells and whistles and, yeah. and therefore without the cost. And it goes to show that you don't, mm. you might as well. And I, there's something slightly cool, I think, if you're the right, you know, if you've got a studio, it's kind of like you're going, look, I don't really care about all the bells and whistles. I just care about the guitar. And I've I think that's same, kind of a cool attitude got the same knocks well. on them. Right. There you go. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Au revoir. Bye.